we know uh, that we could have two circulating viruses, both of which can be deadly. We have a vaccine against the one. We ought to use it. As health experts predict a possible twindemic this fall of both coronavirus and the flu, a new bill introduced by Assemblyman and physician Herb Conaway would mandate that all New Jersey school children from preschool up to 12th grade, as well as those in daycare and in colleges or universities, get an annual flu shot. We know what's coming. We've seen this play. We know that seasonal flu will be here, and why not arm ourselves against it? We've got to get those schools uh, open and running, and we need to do so in the safest way that we can. And part of that process is making sure that everybody who enters an educational program gets a flu vaccine. Conaway says it would also be mandatory for students learning virtually to receive the vaccine. Our mandatory vaccination program is not suspended for children who are learning remotely. Uh, often they are shifting uh, you know, may have two days remote, two days in school. We know after school programs, there are going to be uh, sports programs, which will continue. I'm not sure about the advisability of those, but these children are not in school all day, are not remaining in isolation. This bill would land on the school nurses, who would then have to explain the requirement, enforce it, collect the documentation of every child's flu vaccine, whether they're attending school in person or remotely, and then they would have to tell any child who didn't submit that proof of vaccination that they could no longer participate in school. Debbie Nazaro has been a registered nurse for more than 20 years and is currently a school nurse in Hunterton County. Nazaro, who doesn't support the bill, argues that the flu shot should be a choice. My concern is that um, there are a lot of assumptions being made about the impact that this will have on our hospital's ability to handle any resurgence of COVID-19 cases right, as we enter the fall and flu season. And the impact of the children is so low that I really don't see that this bill is necessary at all. So if I have a student who's six or seven and they get the flu shot, they have a reaction, and now I'm supposed to give it next year and the year after and the year after and the year after, I mean, that's not okay. Sue Collins of the New Jersey Coalition for Vaccination Choice says a mandated flu vaccine is not a one-size-fits-all solution. And we should never be forcing people to accept a medical procedure that may have side effects, um, especially in this time right now where we're all social distancing, washing our hands, staying home when sick, uh, wearing masks. Um, we're going to be preventing the transmission of many viruses and bacteria. The mandate does include religious exemptions and exempts any child who is homeschooled. Conaway says he hopes to have the bill passed by October when flu vaccines are traditionally given. For NJTV News, I'm Raven Santana.